term right there. Part of the rest of the season will be in evaluating, is he there long term? And if I'm Derek Cutter, I kind of want Jameis Winston to play well as well, because even though my yeah. contract is guaranteed, nothing is guaranteed as far as your future in the NFL as a head coach. All right, NFL trade deadline a couple weeks away. I don't feel like the, the Eagles are going to wind up with a Sean McCoy. That was my feeling. What do you think? It sounds like that you're probably going to end up being right, which is something, Mike, that I rarely end up saying. But I talked to a couple sources involved in this situation, and it looks now like it is unlikely that the Bills are going to deal with Sean McCoy to the Eagles. Not that there is an interest. They did, there was a phone conversation. The two sides touched base. My understanding was they didn't talk compensation, but it is pretty clear it is going to take a hefty price tag to pry Shady McCoy from the Bills and send him back home to the Eagles. Perhaps something like a second rounder plus. And at, that, at this point, that seems too rich for the Eagles. Plus, if you're the Bills, he's one of your best players. He's extremely well-liked in the locker room, has been a great leader, and is maturing. They believe he will be a key part of the team, not just this year, Mike, but in 2019 as well. There are potentially other running backs out there. That's all I'm going to say. We'll see how this develops for the Eagles. Yep. Uh, and what they do come with the trade deadline. That was very hurtful, what you said, by the way. We'll see you next hour anyway, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeezy, it's time for Go Around, presented by Lexus. This is a perfect place to start based on that LaShawn McCoy conversation. So, yeah, if, even if the Bills are unlikely to trade him, should the Eagles still pursue Shady McCoy? And, the, and you know, it's Go Around, so I got to go, go, go. Heck yes, I believe so. Or also go with uh, Le'Veon Bell. I mean, Shady is their guy. Eight games for Le'Veon Bell, basically. That's better. Half a season. They don't have anybody else. The Eagles don't have anybody else with Jay Jai being injured. Uh, Corey Clement having some having some hamstring or, or shoulder issues. He's playing, huh? He's playing. Uh -huh. And then Wendell, Wendell uh -huh. Smallwood. Uh -huh. He's he's doing well, but this is a team that flourishes off a running back by committee. Also with that running back by committee, you also seen that with a Jay Jai getting injured. Going into his final year, generally this team locks up guys that they want. He has some injury issues, issues, and so they are letting us know right now he's not the back of the future. Right Steve, I'm gonna use what you, I'm gonna use your analysis of everything, Go and ahead. I'm gonna use it against you a little bit. That, you said Wendell Smallwood, Corey that's Clement, and those guys. They also have Darren Sproles, but well, they're a certain type of back. They're a change of pace type of a back, yes. essentially kind of what. Shady McCoy is to a degree. He yep. said that they like running backs by committee. Yes. Well, the Shady McCoy, Le'Veon Bell, those are dominant type of backs. They don't do the committee thing. They get the ball every single time. So for that, I say I don't think they need Shady McCoy no. right now. They need more of a bigger guy, more of a guy that can move the chains, more of a guy that can get the dirty three and four yards on a consistent basis. They have speed on the outside. Well, wow. you know, Howie, okay. yeah. this is not the first time he's acquired about LaShawn McCoy. You know he kind of wants him back after Chip Kelly. Kelly's the one who got rid of him. Yesterday. All right, I know you're bringing all the energy today. Yeah. All oh my God, I'm going to start with you here. Dak Prescott dealing with the Jags oh. defense today. Is he still the Cowboys quarterback of the future? On, Look, man. don't shoot the messenger. This is just the question. Bah, bah, bah. Shot. Shot. Of course, Dak not is still. Doing. Of course, Dak is still the quarterback of the future. It's not Dak's fault that the person calling the plays isn't, use, isn't using his genetic skill set to create offense. They have to do something more cre creatively in the offensive side of things so that this offense can kind of get going. It's not Dak's fault that all the guys on the outside aren't making plays, right. and it's definitely not Dak's fault that they don't have a true number one receiver. Oh, a couple of weeks ago they didn't need one. Now they haven't. <laughs> I have one of the years. Is Dak Prescott the quarterback of the future? Yes, Dak Prescott is quarterback of the future, but he also needs some future people to grow with as well. Yeah, and then like not that. only be Ezekiel Elliott. They need some what I call horses in the stables yeah. to okay. run this track me because as you see Kansas City, all these other teams, they are loading up on playmakers after playmaker after playmaker. They need all of that around Dak Prescott to help him thrive and be yeah. successful. You have a young rookie quarterback. You got to build around Bill. him right now while Bill. he's cheap. Okay. Not, not tear down. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Put bricks on the house, not take them off 
of the foundation. Don't want to do that. Let's move on to the Watt brothers right now. They are tied right now for the league league with six sacks each. So, Steve, who finishes with more sacks? Okay, season? first of all, JJ TJ. First of all, I just want to say I'm jealous that two brothers are playing in the in the league together. It's awesome. The Griffins are on the same team. What about jealous the 40s, too? They're on the same team. Yeah, whatever. Oh, oh, all right, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting to that jealousy. during the break, but, probably. Okay. I'm just teasing, but J.J. Watt, and TJ, who have more? I'm going with JJ because the schedule favors him a little bit more. With uh, in the AFC North, those are a little bit challenging. They pass the ball, they throw the ball, but with JJ, he's playing the Colts, he's playing some of these other teams. He's he, he just has a better opportunity to do it. And also, too, if you think about it, the Steelers are giving it <laughs> up on the defense. For too. me, I agree with you, JJ Watt, simply because Jadavion Clown is on the other side. Mm. Simply put. That's it? Okay, that's hey, it. that's, that's fine. Let's move on here. All right, final question here. What's the biggest problem for the Giants right now? All right, look, Giants fans, listen Not to me. Come on up in here. Come on up in here. You too, Steve. Listen to this. All right, on the field, right it's Eli Manning, okay? On the field, it's Eli Manning. Off the field, the bigger picture is how they have dealt with Odell Beckham. And it's not Odell Beckham's fault. I know you're going to walk around like that, Steve. It's not Odell's fault, okay? All athletes want to go, all athletes want to know, especially dominant uh, athletes like Odell is, all they want to know is what their boundaries are. And early on when Odell was there, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Early on when he was there, they should have put a stoppage to some of this behavior, some of the out, uh, some of the sideline bursts. They should have put a stoppage to it then. But definitely, on the field, it's Eli Manning, man. Mm -hmm. It's Eli Manning. My, my that was, other elite quarterbacks that say, don't have offensive line. Nip that in the bud. Yeah. She may nip it in the bud. You no, the, the Odell stuff. Oh, Pat yeah. Shermer, my mama say nip it in the, the bud. And I use bud as the, the, yeah. the word I use on Yeah, <laughs> right. So what do you think? Who's the biggest problem? I think the biggest problem is not Odell. It's not Eli. It's the whole thing. This team is in a rebuilding situation. Eli, Odell, Eric Flowers, Chad Wheeler, offensive coordinator, is defense. Is it really rebuilding? In, in, they, they have was, a veteran yeah. quarterback. They cool. got a number one receiver that's yes. been there, led the league in, in receiving and all those yep. things. They paid him. Uh -huh. They have veteran guys on defense. Yes. Can you really can you really bail them out and say that I, they're rebuilding? That's I, bailing them out, I, bro. I'm not bailing them out. I'm going. See these right here? HD. I was there Thursday night. I got you. Wow, oh wow. Yeah. That is not a very good team. It is time to turn it over. Change. But is he, it because they're rebuilding he, or is it just because they don't have no energy, bro? There's no urgency. Here's, Where's, the Where's the leadership? Where's the leadership in the, in the New York Giants? You? Here's the car. They tried to change the wheels. Nah. Put that lemon back in the, uh, put that lemon Man, over here and put it in the junkyard and now. get a new vehicle. They and you know what that new, new vehicle car. starts with? Quarterback. So offensive so, line. Oh, hold on, hold on up. So you saying Eli is a problem? I'm saying it all needs to change. Oh, but it's Eli. Rebuild. I don't know if y'all got an answer. That Giants that. team. They went Rebuild. cold for like 15 on yes. third that's down. Right. That, that was, what a mess the offense is. A lot of that had to do with Eli. I think we can all agree. Yeah. There's a offensive lot of problems. Line.